What up, bitches? I got some more shit to show you. Psh, over here. So first off, fat ass fucking cat. Oh yeah, look at that. He's really fucking fat, isn't he? Who's a fatty? Who's a fat fat? So today I just wanted to show you a little bit about a game called Crank the Weasel. Now, Crank the Weasel was a game being developed by Midway in the early 2000s for, I believe, the PS2. It says it right here. Um, yeah, it was shown at uh, E3 2002 and scheduled for release in 2003, but ended up getting cancelled. So uh, anyway, here's a couple images of the game. Um, but yeah, what's cool about this is the developers have actually released this game uh, well, on this website, actually, for everyone to just download and play. Uh, and that's really cool, because uh, you don't see that very often, where developers just sort of... I mean, it happens sometimes, and it's really cool when it does, but, you know, it, it could happen a whole lot more, you know? I mean, a lot of stuff just uh, just never gets seen, it just gets lost, you know? So it's it's cool that this is actually getting out there, and uh, yeah, no, it's it's awesome. So here it is, there's the links. I'll put it in the description the, to the page or whatever. Uh, you don't need to sign up, or uh, if you uh, are already signed up, that's cool. But uh, yeah, no, it's you just download that stuff and uh, put it on your computer, and you get something a little like that. So here we go. Uh, you can. Uh, there's a couple things you have to do to get this going. It's all on the README. Just do that. It's not hard to do. I'm sure you can manage. And if not, well, uh, I guess too bad for you. So here we go. So as you can see, the style is uh, turn this down. The style is 19, really early 1900s uh, animation sort of thing, which is kind of like another game released recently. But uh, yeah, you don't see a lot of games with this style, so it's kind of cool that there was actually more in development other than you know just Cuphead. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do in this demo, it's, you know, just the one level. Uh, the developer did release the assets for the full game, so maybe uh, some people can get that going, we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, yeah, no, you, there's no camera control, which is kind of lame, so you're kind of stuck with, ah, letting the camera fend for itself. But, you know, this is really early, so obviously they just haven't implemented that yet. Ooh, I can climb things. The level itself is actually, you know, decent in size. It's not just a tiny little one room location or anything, so that's cool. Oh, what's over here? What do we got here? Just flying around in circles there, huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get dizzy there, helicopter. Oh shit! Shit, son! Okay, apparently that's not a good place to go. Oh, sweet. At least I didn't get stuck. So you can beat the shit out of people, that's cool. I'm not sure what the money was supposed to do. Maybe purchase upgrades or some shit. Yeah, there was actually a lot of effort put into, you know, this early demo, you can see just how many different uh, buildings there are and all that. It's not just uh, repeated stuff over and over again, so that's pretty cool. I'm really excited to see what people find from uh, all the stuff that the, the developer has released on the assembly games there, because it sounds like he has released the most up-to-date uh, assets, so... Hopefully someone can build something from that and uh, we can get an even closer look at what this game would have been like. But yeah, I mean, you don't need to see me running around here. Go fucking download it yourself. It's available right there on the website. So go grab it and let this guy beat the shit out of me because that's cool. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and uh, I guess we'll see you next time.